I, and I also got to mention the locusts was a big, they had a lot of problems with locusts that created plagues too. And I'm explaining that in the book as well. So, um, the plagues ain't going on today. There's a lot of diseases that's killing people. But it's not the diseases that's, the, the, the diseases are, are chicken pox and we're catching them together. You know, like it's not, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not, um, you know. Contagious. Yeah, contagious. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. It's not contagious. The majority of these diseases nowadays. The majority of these diseases nowadays are based on bad decision making. And you put too much chemicals in your body. Right? Yeah, repetitive chemicals. You, you love to go eat the whipped cream every goddamn day. And now you got the whipped cream cancer. Okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no that's, that, that's what it is. You want the cheese, you want the cheese in the can. You want the Cheetos. Yeah, you want the Cheetos, you want the Doritos, and you want the everything, you want all of that shit. And, the, you know, the, the gas station burrito, nigga, okay? You want that shit, and now you got gas station burrito cancer, okay? <laughs> it's just that simple. Okay, so it's the chemical concoction that you niggas is putting in your body that's got you motherfucking stupid as shit. The Coca-Cola and all that shit. Like, for Sprite, Sprite to be named after a form of spirit from the dark age and then it to be a liquid that is not a natural will automatically classify it as a potion in those times. In our times, we don't have a knowledge of what a potion is. You see, so we know what pop is. Yeah, yeah, we know what pop and soda is. It's stupid ass shit. So, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, all of that shit right there, it's, it's base is not really the plays, it's the poisoning that's going on. And the poisoning is humongous. As, as you read in the thing, the poisoning was majorly done to kill, uh, to get inheritance money. And that's something that uh, indigenous people always clown about, huh? Oh, you know, other races, we always clown the comedians. They're like, why white people always kill each other and hair this money? And then, nigga, they was doing that shit before you knew what insurance was. While your people was cutting. Yeah, while your people, while your people was making totem poles, nigga, and got to go. <laughs> and mud hunts, you nigga. Murder <laughs> <each other. laughs> to be the next Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. That's just what the facts are, my nigga, okay? So what's the next question of it? Um, so for all like the, the, um, the diseases, is that where all of their, cause you know the one picture of the weird vampire, uh -huh. uh, teeth do, uh -huh. do you think all of that, that's what still carries down on in their traits and that's why they're all fucked up and they have diseases that no other race, ah, oh, there you go, there it is, a lot of ail, a lot of ailments, they try to hide underneath medical Shits, and these could be Melatonin. throwbacks, mm -hmm. right? These these could be throwbacks. The these could, yeah, bone. this could be disfigured. These this could be uh, throwbacks of their development. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? But that's just that's what we see. I mean, okay, I had to look at it in a reality format. We're talking about werewolf and We're talking about the vampire shit, and this shit is repetitive. Okay, for instance, like we talk about the king's evil and the scrofula. And when the king, only the king could heal it and bust the neck and all these goddamn worms come about the neck. So, you know, there was a lot of disfigurements that was going on that was disease related. But then as well, there was a lot of disfigurements people had that were related to their crimes or sitting in the stocks or getting their ears ripped off and nose ripped off and other type of shit. So, when we talk about the werewolfism and the vampirism, werewolfism is... is, is, is linked with the word lycanthropy. Lycanthropy is the medical condition that they classify the werewolfism to be at. And so so it's sort of like a bridge of the lycanthropy the lycanthropy is a beginning process to make werewolfism real. You see what I'm saying? Because if it, if we didn't have lycanthropy Werewolfism would be extremely stuck inside folklore and superstition, right? Mm -hmm. Right? But now that we have a medical classification, we're bringing it closer to 
a reality. reality. Okay, now, with that, I had to understand that there's some medical conditions here that could have enforced werewolfism or made people think that there was werewolves around. So, you know, I, I remember when I was a child, you know, watching the Ricky Lakes and all that shit. They'd have some freak shows on there every now and again. Mm -hmm. You know, and the people, I remember one time there was people on there, they had the trichnosis. They had the hair every goddamn wear. Okay. And, um, that would be werewolfism. You've seen men with hair all on their fucking back, all over their fucking body, you know. There's also, I, I, a friend of mine, he said that every time there's a full moon, his fucking father, his, his, his dad, his, his eyebrows was, would enlarge a little bit. You see what I'm saying? Like, they also say the, the unibrow got the, the werewolfism going down. So, that's another connection. There's a lot of, Similarities here. Can a man morph into a wolf or a dog? I don't know. I can't say that until it's done right in front of me. But there are some very high level rituals that these individuals say they did in order to turn into. And you won't... And I mean, the, the rituals that you find in the medieval times are not as descriptive as the rituals you'll find in Greece when it comes to werewolfism. Okay. And yes, you have to understand that vampirism, uh, werewolfism, and all of that, these individuals and these, these entities are, don't find their origins in medieval times, okay? They predate medieval, okay? So, uh, I, I had to do that. I had to. It was too close. Their medical conditions is too out of this world. Like, I remember this, remember the dude with the face, the movie, with Cher, when we was kids, the so long you, boy. Yeah, the baby. What the fuck is this freak ass shit? And then, uh, the <laughs> elephant man. <laughs> what? So from that, could you fathom that there are real life creatures just walking around amongst us that we're just not even really paying attention to? Okay. Uh, the creatures would have to be in the paintings. I've seen so many creatures and so many that, and you have to understand, I just so went over a millennium. Looking. They're all similar from 700 to 1700 and they are consistent they are the same colors and they are committing the same activities repetitively over and over and over and over and over now I'm t now I mean there it could be you know teacher student teacher student teacher student what we're really looking at but to say teacher student teacher student upon the same subjects to be drafted for a thousand years is a little you know like there wasn't no development, there wasn't no change. You had to, they stayed consistent on the hell theory in order to pump it into a reality, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, there is no telling on if the walls of the castles of Europe were built for humans. That's all I can say on it. There's no telling. Because they still are telling you that same shit today. Beauty and the Beast. They're blatantly telling you. Our woman will go fuck the animal. We, we adore our woman fucking the animal. Fucking the dark colored bee. So they have You've seen this in aliens. They know the magic. Yeah. They keep the magic always. Yeah, they, they, they keep this shit going. So there's no telling. I let those worlds in Europe are built for humans. Trolls are humongous. Yeah. Supposedly. So are ogres. Yeah. yeah, but see, that's what I'm saying. Like, Shrek is an ogre. You don't know what the fuck an ogre is. And you see, the uh, ogre has been running around since 1100, 1200. Mm -hmm. And I think the ogres come from Scotland, I think. Because a lot of this stuff that you're getting now is broken down into different regions. But they all have similarities. So right now they could take an individual like an ogre and compile him with troll activity, compile him with an activity from a brownie, uh, and maybe a couple of other demons and devils and mix all that into the entity of Shrek. And you don't know what the fuck you're looking at. Mm -hmm. And it's all applicable, cause especially if he says in the script that he's an ogre or we're ogres. You only got to say that shit one time. You don't even know what the fuck just passed through the screen on your ass. 
You think this shit's a game? I don't. I mean, whatever. Read the words up in this book and see if, it, if you think it's a game or not. I don't know. So with magic, do you think it's when someone <clears throat> says magic, would you automatically associate it more with the female or the male? The female. Because of the witchcrafts? <laughs> because it's only female and male and uh, the, the, the true magic is, is what I can do with your mind. A woman gets naked in front of any man, he, she has shut down the brain immediately. Even if he's gay? No, there is no such thing as gay. You gotta be trained for that. Like, yeah, that gay shit is a trans scenario. You're not born gay. There's a spiritual movement that makes that shit occur. And not only, or a training done by women, being around too many women, and you know. I mean, like, like in volume one, there's several cases of women uh, dressing their boys up as girls. You've seen it. I've seen it. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, what is that devilish ass shit? You know? So, they dress the boy up as a little girl and shit, and the nigga think he a girl. And this shit is all fucked up. You know, I've seen a case of two twins who were raised like that. And all the way until they were 30, 40 years old, they thought they were girls. And when they found out they were boys, they cut their fucking mom's head off. This is an American story. You may go check out the... I forgot the name of the twins, but there's some white boys. But yeah, try to enforce a lie. You know? So, due to the fact that a woman can take off her clothes and shut a man's brain down, and due to the fact that a woman can speak in a man's mind, can speak words, and shut him, and make him erectile dysfunction, which is his life force, cut off his life force, by her repetitive words alone, she has the power of witchcraft. Basically, that's what witchcraft really is at the end of the day. Magic. Uh, huh? Magic. At the end of the day, magic is defined by what I make you think. So that's the same as her witchcraft. Yeah, what I make you think, right? That's her witchcraft. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Wow. Well, okay. Um. Uh, how is the plague? What does the plague have to do with astrology? Um. There was a lot of well. Their medical understanding at that time was very holistic, as Western civilizations. Uh, of what today the modern status of Western civilization is not a holistic approach towards m medical. But during the medieval times, they had a holistic approach. And when you have a holistic approach, like all other peoples on the planet, you will include astrology into uh, why your physical is down. You know, why you may be feeling whatever you're feeling pertaining to ailments. If any major events occur, happen in society, it has been thoroughly documented in all civilizations, in all time periods, that certain um, star and planet alignments and conjunctions do influence events here on the planet. Period. It's well known. So, these plagues have major influences and... Um, one of the influences was from Comet Negra. Come again? The comet was named Comet Negra, N-E-G-R-A. The black comet? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I think this is the comet that supposedly was, was blamed for starting the 1665 Great Plague of London. Okay. There's also the majority of plagues as the plague was also a form of mania if we look at the time period of 1347 right mm -hmm. is when the black death occurred and then 1665 the great plague of london okay that's what another 300 year gap right so if we were which there are plagues before the 1300s too that are not to be removed but if we can we take the consolidated time period where hundreds happened in between 1300 1600 
and there's something that happened in the 1700s as well. Well, I mention them, I don't go in on it. I just, a lot of the plagues are just mentioned, and then the date, and then the death number, the date when it happened, location, and how many bodies showed up. But astrology it definitely had to be included with the plague understanding because that's how they looked at it at those times. They thought, um, they understood. There's a, there's a very clear breakdown of their understanding of astrology in the book. Very clear. That they understood certain seasons were to be correlated with certain diseases. And, you know, they understood a lot of elements pertaining to astrology. So, when you were looking, when I did my research on the reasons they claimed the plague started, uh, astrology was included. Comets and planet alignments were included to be a source for why the plague or the or, or how the plague came through. And one of them was saying that the uh, the moon assisted some planet adjunction to to move the way. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not um, you know contagious. yeah contagious yeah that's the word I'm looking for. It's not contagious. The majority of these diseases nowadays. The majority of these diseases nowadays are based on bad decision making. And you put too much chemicals in your body. Right? Yeah, repetitive chemicals. You, you love to go eat the whipped cream every goddamn day. And now you got the whipped cream cancer. Okay? <laughs> okay? So it's the chemical concoction that you niggas is putting in your body. It's got you motherfucking stupid shit. The Coca-Cola and all that shit. Like, for Sprite, Sprite to be named... After a form of spirit from the dark age, and then it to be a liquid that is not a natural, will automatically classify it as a potion mm -hmm. in those times. In our times, we don't have a knowledge of what a potion is. You see? Well, we know what pop is. Yeah, oh, yeah, we know what pop is. So did yeah, I, and I also gotta mention the locust was a big. They had a lot of problems with locusts that created plagues too, and I'm explaining that in the book as well. So, um. The plagues ain't going on today. There's a lot of diseases that's killing people. But it's not the diseases that's... The, the, the diseases are, are chicken pox and we're catching them together. You know, like it's not... Uh, it's stupid ass shit. So, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, all of that shit right there, it's, it's base is not really the plagues, it's the poisoning that's going on. And the poisoning is humongous. As as you read in the thing, the poisoning was majorly done to kill, uh, to get inheritance money. And that's something that uh, indigenous people always clown about, huh? Mm -hmm. You know, other races, we always clown the comedian. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, no that, that, that's what it is. You want the cheese, you want the cheese in the can. You want the Cheetos. Yeah, you want the Cheetos, you want the Doritos, and you want the everything, you want all of that shit. And, the, you know, the, the gas station burrito, nigga, okay? You want that shit, and now you got gas station burrito cancer, okay? <laughs> it's just that simple.